jolly good. Mm. Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clank Zoka. Welcome back to another My Thoughts On. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to need that. Ah, oh, that. Ugh. Yeah, that's uh, hmm. definitely what I needed. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about. Hop, which is the second Illumination movie after, well, Despicable Me, the first, and so far the only live-action movie they have, as directed by Tim Hill, who directed Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, I can see the resemblance. <laughs> yeah. um, anyways, this is considered by many to be the worst the worst Illumination movie out there, and to be honest with you, I can see that. I have I have seen the film before, but not since when it came out. Also, it's over ten years old. Good lord. All I remember is seeing it in a cinema. It was Cineworld. I don't remember which one, because I was like... When did the film come out? So I would have been ten when it came out. Um, but yeah, I, I, oh god, um, I just remember, I just remember seeing it and, uh, it had subtitles on, and that's kinda, sorta, maybe all I know about it. All I know also is that people just don't like it. It's the highest grossing Easter movie there is. I don't understand why. I mean, there's not that many Easter movies. Hell, my I have I have a film idea for an Easter movie which I might share with you people one day. I don't know when, but it, you know it'd be kind of cool. Why the fuck not? Anyway, so this um, yeah, so Sing Two comes out this week. It's Friday, twenty eighth. So I'm going to be looking at the rest of the Illumination movies. So there's. This hop, um, the Lorax, and Despicable Me too, and that's pretty much me catched up with uh, Illumination. Wow, that's going to be fun, or is it? I don't know. Anyways, so uh, what is hop about? Well, it's about people who hop, of course. <laughs> Guys, do don't you know? I'm joking. It's about this bunny named E.B. <laughs> Orig or original. Um, he's played by... Oh, sorry, voiced by... The voice by Russell... Never shuts up brand. And he... Wants to... Be, and he's going to be the Easter Bunny. But he wants to be a drummer. He wants to see the world. He wants to drum... I don't remember the reason, but there you go. But his father, voiced by uh, Piss Poor Steve Christmas, Hugh Laurie, says, no, you're going to be the Easter Bunny. And he runs away to Hollywood, and he comes across Fred O'Hare, played by James Marsden, who's trying to get a job, and then he comes across E.B., and uh, basically he has to hide from the Pink Berets, who his father sends out to look for him. But there's this chicken in Carlos, voiced by Hank Azaria, and he's totally not racist accent. I mean, he was a poo, for goodness sake. Who wants to take over Easter as being the Easter Bunny? And Fred stays in his mansion, and he has family who he doesn't want to disappoint in terms of getting a job. And, well, there's, there's a lot going on, and I'll be very honest, I didn't really care about this movie at all. You're probably thinking, oh, come off it now, Clank. It's an Easter movie. It's for the kiddies. Well, I mean, after the pretty decent opening, I mean, the movie opened up, I think it could have been a really engagingly strong movie. You know, an Easter idea movie would work, and my film idea would probably do much better than what this film could do if it ever saw the light of day. That will happen at some point, but anyways, the opening's you know the opening is very creative and interesting enough. So I don't know, maybe maybe it could have been really really cool. I guess it's, you know it's interesting, creative, and I think you know this could have been fine. 
But as soon as we see our main character grow up to be Russell Brand and James Marsden talking about jobs, it's the funniest, funny, fun family film you'll see all year. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a kid's movie in most parts. They just talk. They talk for so long about jobs and disappointments. And it's a very mean movie also. A lot of the characters are so, so mean. But not like in that fun, amusing way. But just in that don't give a solitary shit way. Because they are just boring. I'll get to it in a minute. The film's predictable. It's just another... You know, main character is destined to be destined to be this, but turns out he wants to do something else. I've never seen that before. My God, so original! And there's not one original thing in the movie except the the Easter Island thing, which is kind of original but very creative nonetheless. I say about fifty percent reminded me a lot of Ted, which is coincidental because they're both I. Excuse me, since they're both owned by Universal and Ted came out the year after Hop and uh, even though Ted's not perfect I would rather watch Ted over this actually when you kind of think about it this movie is like Ted you know a talking bunny and a man who's weird I guess and it's also like Sonic because James Marston's in that and even that's better than this did I get any laughs from the movie I only laughed I only laughed once. I, I can't even remember what I laughed at, but I laughed. I can't even remember the joke. Most of the humour in the movie is just... just didn't do it for me. It's mostly just poop humour, reference humour, toilet humour. Uh, they say things that just don't affect you and it's just not funny. It's that kind of movie. It just doesn't care about, you know, audiences and clever writing and... Consistency. No, it just cares about poop humor because, you know, after seeing this, you wouldn't want to eat sweets again or candy, really. Um, lots of scenes involve Fred trying to act as, you know, fakely, you know, uh, how do I put this? You know, a character is doing something that he shouldn't be doing, someone else is coming and he tries to act like everything's normal. And that's kind of the humour a little bit, especially when his sister, played by Penny from Big Bang Theory, or is it, or Kaylee uh, Kusho, Kuko, I don't know, uh, she finds uh, EB, and then uh, yeah, this movie hadn't, this movie wasn't interesting. There was no interesting scenes. There wasn't anything funny. I only laughed for one scene, and that's it really. And I can't even remember what I fucking laughed at. It's that bad. And even there are some things in the movie which are so mean. And the characters, by the end, they just forget about it and just move on. And it's, oh, it just doesn't make sense. I just, oh, God. Oh, it's not good. Not good at all. It's just a typical family movie story that you've seen before. Kind of like Peter Rabbit, because even the main character is a bit mischievous in a way. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. It's not original, except for Easter Island, which it kind of is. It's not funny, it's not engaging dramatically, it's just poor, it's not... In it just doesn't get interesting. Even the idea but towards the end about a human Easter bunny is a bit dumb, but could work. I don't know, this movie just... I just didn't get the story, I just didn't get any of it. It just didn't feel natural, or, or there was care put into it. It's just... Easter, we've got to make a movie, you know. There could have been a really strong script here and a really clever story, but there just isn't anything there. It's, who it's poor. Very, 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 very poor. Yeah. Visuals. Um, East, the Easter, the Easter chocolate factory looks cool, looks very creative. That's it. Even the, the even the bunnies and the chicks have a very weirdly abstract um, design to them. I mean, they're not the the um, the designs are not awful per se, but 
would have worked better if it was fully animated. You know, the the uh, designs are very distinct, and you can tell who's who mostly. But they look too cute. I don't mean like, oh, so cute. It's more like they just have a cutesy look to them that just doesn't stand out. And they just look bland. And even, the, even their designs don't match too well with the real-life world. Ooh. This movie hasn't really aged well in terms of its, like, you know, uh, effects and all that. Um, even when Fred's in the factory, it looks so fake. So fake. And the movie is shot just like any other 2011 comedy uh, you've seen from that year. It doesn't look engaging. It just looks bland, boring, nor especially interesting. It's a bit colourful in the CG sometimes. Works, but I just... Uh, it's just... When you think AC, you think creativity, you think candy, you think jolliness. No, most of it's just in the real life world. It's like a piss poor Ted wannabe. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's so boring to look at. Even the, again, the the, the uh, designs are just not effective and they're just not that appealing. They just look very eh and a bit creepy also. Visually could have been done a lot better, but to be fair, I don't really give a crap about the characters. But, you know, the the candy factory looks, you know, creative enough. And, yeah, that's all I can say. Characters and acting. Fucking hell, all these characters I hate. They're very, very unlikable. Very mean, very annoying... And that's all I've got to say. There wasn't one character I liked at all. Evie's the typical troublemaker protagonist that's annoying, juvenile, not interesting. Just another juvenile main character. And even Fred's just, you know, the sarcastic friend who's just mean and, and, and you know, moody and just, you know, just goofy and, and, and annoying too. His family's just fucking... Unlikable as hell. I mean, and they all act nice towards the end because he has a job, but nothing's reserved after what happened at the uh, at his stepsister, adopted sister thing. I don't know. The main villain, Carlos, is the typical stereotypical villain who wants to take over Easter. His reason, I actually do not know, but he is also annoying. All of the characters are annoying. Hugh Laurie's uh, bunny father. Not annoying, but just a typical father looking out for a child. And that's it. Not one character I liked. Even Hasselhoff didn't do a thing for me. Even the acting I found to be a little bit underwhelming. I'm not a fan of Russell Brand. He's alright, but he's way too annoying for my tastes. James Marsden... Actually does a pretty decent job of his performance as being silly and a bit active as possible. Hank Azaria's performance is just, well, it's a Hank Azaria performance, so it's not bad, but it's not great. Everyone else, like Elizabeth Perkins, bloody hell, Gary Cole, bloody hell, uh, Penny from Big Bang Theory, what the hell. Big stars. I think this was way, way before a lot of them became big. Weird. And they all do just strange jobs. Anyways, the characters are annoying, not original, not funny. Not even that entertaining. They're just boring and annoying and just stupid. Even the acting doesn't save them from being the big egg. So crack it open and let's eat some chocolate. I don't even know where I'm going with that line, but let's go with it. The score by Christopher Lennart, who you'll know from... I think the Smurfs Lost Village movie. He did the music for the Loud House movie, um, Tom and Jerry movie. His music's nice, but nothing to say, oh, it's a big standout. You know? Yeah. No wonder I can't remember this movie, because it's just bland as fuck. Hop is probably one of the more bland, original, uh, uh, no, uh, unoriginal Easter movies, or the most unoriginal Easter movie you can think of, really. I mean, it has the right ideas, and even the what they do with Easter Island is kind of a bit original, but 
it's predictable, not funny, unimaginative for the most part, boring looking, doesn't age well, the characters are irritating and annoying, even the actors just don't try as much, kind of except for James Marsden, who is pretty good, and the music just doesn't do a thing. If you like Easter, spend it with you know, spend Easter with your family, or watch an Easter related movie to do with, you know, our Lord and Saviour Christ. Or whatever other Easter movie there is. I think this is like the most popular one. I'm sure one day there's going to be a great Easter movie, an animated Easter movie, but this is definitely not it. I don't know, just watch something else over Easter that isn't Easter related. Just don't watch this. I know there are people that like it. I don't quite understand why, but good for you. I gave the film, I think, a 4 out of 10, but since I genuinely dismissively dislike it it gets what should I give it I'll give it a 2 yeah I, I don't think it's awful or like one of the worst things I've seen but it's just it's genuinely not good there you go hop what a bad movie what a bad rotten movie hmm so now with Hop out of the way, let's take a look at Illumination's third movie in total and second animated movie. Is it going to be better? Well, let's cut down some trees and sing a really forced environmental song and we'll find out. Yeah, next, yeah the next one's the Lorax, of course. So, if you have seen Hop, or did you hop away from it? Did you hop into it? Did you... Uh, Easter puns. Quality. Anyways, is it good, bad, decent? Do you want to see it? Let me know below. And as always, <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And until next time, I definitely don't want candy, but I might, I might just stick to Harry Bows.